Hello classmates! Ako po si Yomicron! Ako po ang pinagabago Sunday School member! Classmate na po ako ngayon! Para! Kasan si ko? Hinahanap ko siya! Nakikita ko siya sa TV eh! Kasan siya? Naku! Omicron! Wala ngayon si ko eh! Tatawagan ko na lang siya mamaya! O sige, pabalik na lang ako mamaya. Make sure na tawagan mo si Kuwa. Bye-bye! Classmates! Halina po! Tayo na po tayo! Andito na po si teacher! Classmates! Welcome to Sunday School! Welcome back sa ating online Sunday School. I am Teacher Denise. So, before we start, let's pray first. So, how do we pray? We close our eyes. We bow our heads because we are talking to God. Repeat after teacher. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord. For this opportunity, kasi po, magkakasama na naman po kami. Lord, thank you rin po 
for our teachers, classmates, and parents na kasama po namin ngayon virtually. Lord, help us to understand your word for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, before we dive into our Bible story for today, may tanong muna sa inyo si teacher. Sino or kanino kayo lumalapit kapag meron kayong mga problema? Ma! Me! I will call my Mama Erna. Our story is found on Esther chapter 4 verse 1 to 17. Esther is adopted by her cousin Mordecai because her parents died and they are both Jews so they are part of God's special family. Our story begins in the kingdom of King Xerxes. There's a celebration and dahil madaming taong pumunta, gusto ipakita ni King Xerxes sa lahat yung beauty ng kanyang queen na si Queen Vashti. So, King Xerxes commands his servant to call the queen. But, Queen Vashti refused to go. So, the king became mad to the queen. King Xerxes needs a new queen because he doesn't like a queen that disobeys a king. The king has another party and he invited all the maiden in the kingdom and Esther is the most beautiful maiden in the kingdom. So when the king saw Esther, he wanted Esther to be his queen. Now, Esther is the new queen. One day, they are two men who are mad with King Xerxes, and they began making plans to kill him. And Mordecai heard their plan. So he told Esther about the two men and their plan. So, Queen Esther told the king immediately. Because of Mordecai, the king is safe. Sometime later, the king honored a man named Haman. And he promoted him to be the most important position of all officials. Initusan ngayon ni king na lahat ay sumunod dapat kay Haman. Pero itong si Mordecai, ayaw niyang sumunod kay Haman. Kaya naman nagalit si Haman kay Mordecai. Haman knows that Mordecai is a Jew. So he ordered that all Jews will be killed. All the Jews and Mordecai became sad. They put on rags as clothes and dirt on their heads. Si Mordecai nandun lang siya sa gate ng palace. And nakita siya ng mga servants ng queen. So Queen Esther sends clothes to Mordecai, but he refused it. So Queen Esther sent again her servants to ask Mordecai why did he refuse the clothes. And he told the servants of the queen about Haman and his order to kill all the Jews. And he also begged Queen Esther na kausapin yung king para baguhin yung isip niya. When the queen servant told everything to Esther, she asked again the servant to go back to Mordecai and deliver this message. The king has one rule about meeting with him. The rule is that any man or woman who goes to the king without being invited must be killed. Unless the king holds out his gold scepter to spare them. When Mordecai received this message from Queen Esther, he sent her this answer. Don't think na ikaw lang ang Jew na masasave dahil nakatira ka sa palace. If you keep quiet, meron ibang tutulong sa mga Jew. Pero ikaw and your father's family will die. And maybe ito yung reason kung bakit ka naging queen to save the Jews. Then Esther replied and said, Get all the Jews and fast for me for three days and nights. And me and my servants will also fast. Then 
I will go to see the king kahit na it's against the law and if I die, I die. After three days and three nights, pinuntahan na ni Esther si King Xerxes. And when King Xerxes saw Esther, he was so pleased. So nilabas niya ang kanyang scepter and he asked Esther what she wants. Esther asked the king to have a special dinner for him and Haman. And the king said yes. And the night of the dinner, Esther asked again the king for another dinner with Haman. And the king again said yes. The second dinner, Esther told the king about Haman and his order to kill all her people. And the king was so mad. So he ordered to kill Haman and he commanded Mordecai to create a new law to save all the Jewish people. Queen Esther, willing siyang mamatay for her people. Kahit na alam niyang mamamatay siya kapag kinausap niya yung king. Ginawa pa din niya and she faced her fear. So, hi kids! Ito na yung paggagamitan natin ng nips. So, kailangan lang natin ng plato, nips, at saka ng warm water. So, ang gagawin natin, ibubuksan natin yung mga nips, tapos ipapalibot natin siya sa plato. Huwag magtatabi yung pare-parehong kulay. So kids, etong plato, ito yung nagsisimbolize ng mundo. At etong nips, ito naman yung Christians all over the world. And etong warm water natin, this symbolizes our prayer. So titingnan yung mabuti kids sa kung ano mangyayari when we pray. Ganon din kids sa pag-pray cause it takes time for God to answer our prayers. We need to be patient kasi God takes time to answer our prayers. When we pray, God turn our prayers into something amazing. Teacher Van and now we're going to review our story based on the Bible. The story of Esther is one of a drama and excitement that represents heroes and villains. Even though God's name was never mentioned by name or directly referenced, it's evident that His presence is present throughout the story of Esther. God's people are also aware of His presence and the deliverance that He will provide. In the story, we learn that though God was never mentioned in the book, it is clear throughout every word that Esther felt God's presence and often on that existence for a deeper understanding of her duties and existence. So the Heavenly Father was needed in order for things to come into realization. Through fasting and prayer, Esther was able to open up from true spiritual growth that would help her develop and a person God needed for you. And fasting and prayer
we are alone human beings to remove distractions that oftentimes get in the way and allow individuals to walk a true path of humility. So Queen Esther fast and prayed for three days, right? And she requested her people to join her in prayer. As a result, when it was time to speak out, Esther boldly faced her fears and was able to approach the king bravely. You see how powerful prayer is, kids? Prayer energizes the heart of a believer through the power of the Holy Spirit. Para naman sa ating memory verse, iyon ay ang 1 John 5.14 at ang sabi doon ay If we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Sapat? Okay, it's in 1 John 5.14 at ang sabi doon ay If we ask anything according to His will, He Here's us. Hi kids, ang craft natin today ay prayer chain. Let's start! Materials needed are colored papers, markers, scotch tape or pandiket at scissors. First, we will cut the colored papers for lengthwise. Mag-ingat lang po tayo at magpatulong tayo sa ate at kuya or mama at papa. And here's their soul. So, susulatan natin yan ng ating memory verse for today. Tara, gawin na natin. Of course, pipili ka ng marker and color na gusto mo or kung anong may available lang sa'yo. Una, susulatin natin ang 1 John 5.14. Next is, hinati ko into 3 ang ating statement. Ang first part is, if we asked anything. The second part is, according to His will. And the last part would be, He hears us. So, all in all kids, ang kailangan lang natin na nagupit na colored paper ay apat na piraso or four pieces. Let's recall, it's 1 John 5.14. If we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. So, ipagkoconnect lang natin yung dalawang dulo. Isi-circle natin siya at ididikit using your scotch tape, glue, or stapler kung ano man yung available. We will repeat the process sa apat na colored paper hanggang sa mabuo natin ang ating chain. And finally, nakonek na natin silang lahat at ang tawag natin sa craft For today ay prayer chain. Pero ang nilagay natin ay ang ating today's memory verse. Pwede nyo rin ilagay ang inyong mga prayer sa bawat colored paper or chains na bubuoyin nyo. Yun lamang kids, maraming salamat. So kids, let's end our Sunday school with the closing prayer. How do we pray? We close our eyes. We bow our heads. Because we are talking to God. Repeat after teacher. Lord, thank you for the wonderful story of Queen Esther. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us the power of prayer. 
Thank you, Lord, for also giving us wisdom to understand your word. Thank you rin po for our teachers and parents for helping us to understand your word. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything. Lord, we also pray that we can share the story of Queen Esther to our other relatives, friends, and classmates. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, Ku! Hello, Arok! Naku! Pasensya ka na, Arok! Hindi na naman ako nakapanood ng Sunday School kasi wala na naman kaming signal kanina. Okay lang yan, Ku! Nang hindi ka nakapasok, mag-attend ka na lang next Sunday, ha? Kumusta na kayo? Ilang dito? Okay naman ako. Good, good lang. Ku, attend ka next Sunday, ha? Gising ka maaga, ha? Para malakas na internet mo. Ganun ba? Okay, di bali. Next Sunday na lang, promise. Para maaga akong magkaroon ng ano, ng signal. Manunood ako ng maaga sa Sunday, ha? Classmates, next week na lang po. Classmates, balik kayo next week, ha? Bye-bye! Bye, ko! Babay na, mga classmates! Babay, arok! to go